What you been doing? I got got a got a He's in the right? spirit. Got a reset? There, no? <laughs> no <a> pumpkin on? <laughs> no? Nobody oh. give him crap now. That's okay. Yeah. You've been to Husky Stadium a few times. Talk about kind of how it rates with uh, some of the other joints in the Pac-12. It's especially. my favorite place in the Pac-12. I love that stadium. It's uh, got a lot of history. The fans are right on top of you. It's the loudest places we've been in, in you know, besides Autzen. I mean, it's a, it's a great venue. I love playing in Husky Stadium. And since Sark's come on, you've seen it kind of, you know, from the bottom kind of creep up each year and every year. Yeah, Steve's done an unbelievable job up there. I mean, you know, look at their record right now. They're 6-2. and two. They lost to Nebraska, who I think is ninth in the country, and Stanford is either 4 or 5 or 3 or whatever they are. You know, he's done a, a really, really good job. He's got um, – done a great job in recruiting. Uh, he's got some talented players there. They're, they're, they're a lot of real weapons on offense, and they play hard on defense. That's what we thought when, when Locker left that they were going to take a dip, but Keith Price has been absolutely... We didn't. We saw Keith play against us last year. and was real impressed with him. That was his first start. Um, got real good feet. Uh, throws a real, real, real nice ball. Um, he's eighth in the nation right now in pass efficiency. He's doing a really, really good job. Thomas looked better physically today. What's that? Thomas looked better physically. Darren looks good every day. Every day. Just not good enough Saturday to stay in the game. What's that? Just not good enough Saturday to stay No, in the that game. wasn't the case. Don't put words in my mouth. Physical issues. No, I didn't. I asked if it was injury and performance related. No, I said what? Well, it was there was both. I said both. Both. Yeah, injury implies physical issues, so I'm asking if it's just better to be He looks the same to me every day, big guy. Thanks. You're welcome. Talk a little bit about what you're going to see with Chris Polk. Chris Polk, I think, is one of the top backs in the country. He's fifth in the nation in rushing right now. But the thing that amazes you about Chris is how good a receiver he is. You know, he can catch a ball coming out of the backfield. He scored five touchdowns against Arizona. Um, you know, he, he really is the, the kind of engine that moves that group. And, and uh, tough to bring down, tough to tackle, physical football player. Um, really just we're going to have our hands cut out for him. We've got to make sure we wrap him up and make sure we get a lot of guys to the ball. So. You talked a little bit about Husky Stadium earlier, but that it's the last game before the renovation. Do you expect it to be even more, you know, crazier than, than usual? Um, yeah, I think it's supposed to be sold out, so we expect a, you know, an unbelievable crowd. They they support that program uh, really, really well, so I, we expect it to be loud. We're going to practice a lot with sound this week, and, and we, you know that's what you expect, you know, from them. That's what Washington's all about. And then, DeAnthony, you mentioned how sometimes during the game you stop and watch him. Do you even notice that during practice, or is it one of those where it, it, it's in a game thing? No, it's just, I mean, it was just that one particular run, you know, that, but that's the, the type of player he is. He's a, a very mesmerizing when you kind of watch him out there. Anything else? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Thanks,